This is BBC World News Today. I'm Kasia Madeira, our top story. Hello and a very warm welcome to World News Today. More than 900 people have been killed so far during India's current monsoon season. That's according to authorities in the country. Well, with more rain forecast over the coming days, rescue teams are scrambling to reach thousands of people who remain cut off by landslides. India's National Rescue Force has dispatched several teams from other regions to carry out the relief and rescue operations. Well, one of the worst hit areas is the state of Kerala in the southwest, which is said to be experiencing its heaviest rainfall in a century. Yogi Telamai reports. A little earlier, I spoke to Ravi Singh, the founder and CEO of the charity Khalsa Aid, who has a team in Kerala helping with the humanitarian efforts. I started by asking him what his team are seeing on the ground. Ravi Singh, who founded the charity Khalsa Aid, which, as we were hearing, it has a team on the ground in Kerala. The funerals of some of those who died when a major road bridge collapse in Genoa have taken place in northern Italy today. The government had offered state funerals, but fewer than half of the families accepted the offer. Anger towards authorities has been growing amid claims that the structure had not received sufficient maintenance for years. From Genoa, James Reynolds reports. In what is the culmination of 22 years of work, today the former captain of the Pakistan cricket team Imran Khan has been elected by parliament as the country's prime minister. His PTI party gained the most seats in last month's election and he will be formally sworn into office in a ceremony on Sunday. Well, Sekunda Kamani has been looking at some of the challenges that he will face in office. Do stay with us here on BBC World News. Lots more still to come, including all the sport. We'll be looking at... Hello, you're watching BBC World News today. Let's bring you up to date with our main headlines. The Dozens of fans have flocked to the Motown Museum in Detroit to leave personal messages of remembrance to Aretha Franklin. Aline McBall there, remembering Aretha Franklin. Now, let's get all the sports news. Chris Mitchell joins us in... Chris very much for that lovely smile, thanks. Now, diets designed to take inches off the waistline could potentially end up taking years off someone's life. That's according to researchers in America who suggest that cutting down on carbohydrates in foods like pasta, bread and, of course, potatoes may reduce life expectancy by up to four years. Chichi Uzundu explains. Yes, everything in moderation, though I do tend to crave a little bit too much chocolate. Now, the British graffiti artist Banksy, who made his name and considerable fortune by displaying his art without consent, well, he's had a small taste of his own medicine, because he isn't. Now, could this Australian nurse be the world's strongest woman? Congratulations to her, I certainly couldn't do it. Lots more, as always, on our website. It would be great to hear from you via social media. I'm at BBC Cashier Madeira on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.